I'm Fabi, and these are my indies. I ride 149 Andy Hollows. I've always ridden size 8 or 825 boards and I've always been told that 149s are the best for the like proportion of the board. I like that I can't see my wheels when I look down at my board. I chose the hollows because they're probably the most lightweight truck that I could find. I don't think that there's a good reason to be skating like a board that's super heavy. So if you could kind of find a way to make your board lighter, so I ride hollows. set up new trucks I like to put like a little F for front and a little B for back so when I do have to set up a new board I don't have to guess which truck is my front or the back and it does save me a lot of time and frustration so it's kind of just like you know it could fade but I can see if it's an F or a B and it helps me a lot I just skate the truck how it is when it comes just like put them on my board. I don't know any of the scientifics that comes with skateboarding and like it could be all a gimmick, who knows? Find what's right and just skate it. I feel like if I mess too much with the bushings, I'll have to be too particular for the rest of my skate life. Keeping things as simple as possible. So all you have to do is just worry about skating and not just like, I have to have this shit, like I have to have this bushing, it has to be firm. It's kind of just like, you get what you get and just try not to be upset. I'll change a new truck when I heavily need to rely on my board. For example, like international trips, like when we went to Argentina last year with Santa Cruz, I set up new trucks because you don't really know how, if you're gonna find trucks or like the things that you want. So I'm like, cool, I'm just gonna come on this trip with a brand new setup. So that way I do not have to worry about getting new trucks. I just like to make it a little bit easier for myself. So all I have to worry about is just getting into the van and just doing the damn thing. Are those the trucks from Argentina? Dude, these could be the trucks from Argentina. So January 2020, and I don't know, they're smooth sailing. Like, I'm not even close to the base. I prefer skating them long, but I'm not even scared of putting new trucks on anymore because with these, I don't even need to break them in. So it's kind of just like, just a vanity choice, I guess. My favorite indie rider, probably Lizzie. Once I was older and like knew what I liked and what I fucked with in skateboarding, and I, I don't know, like Lizzie's always been on indie, and so it's always been like really sick to see like her, my indies. And she's got a new truck, that's sick. We love Lizzie. Favorite indie ad, Henry's back nose blunt on that train station rail. Beautiful photo, beautiful trick. Rhino killed it, Henry killed it. Timeless ad. I got on the team because I was riding an, another truck company. Indy was really stoked on me at the time. And for me, I was like, that is amazing. Like, you guys are skateboarding. I want to be a part of this. And it was just like a no brainer. When you just fuck with something heavy and you're passionate about it, it's just like you want to chase that. My favorite thing about Indy is the people who fucking run it and everybody who backs it. You just want to be a part of it, you want to be around it. Yeah, why not ride Indy? That's your fucking slogan right there. <laughs> why not?